Welcome back. Uh, today's video, we're going to take another crack at centering the tailstock. Um, I kind of gave up on it last time because there were so many other things to do uh, with cleaning it up and and getting the tooling out and setting up the the tool holder and all of that. I decided I'll I'll come back to this because this is a pretty finicky uh, process. But I am going to use my new live center tailstock tool. I was using the, the dead center, um, but this one is longer and I think it will sh hopefully more accurate anyway. So we'll get this extended a little bit. Let's just see how far off we are. Make sure you can see that. Um, I know that you can, but as you can see, it's get you to where you can see. I have to raise you up a little bit. We'll come back. There we go. That's a better angle. I think you can see kind of what's going on here now. It's definitely off. It's to the left and vertical. It's, it's a bit low. So I'm going to pull this out and we're going to try to get this uh, centered up as best we can. Do we need to move this again? I got to get this figured out. Okay, so we know it needs to come to the right and down. Let's just get this out of here. And what we're going to do is we're going to loosen this screw and we're just going to shift a little and then give it another try until we get it as close as we can. I may try to reach underneath here with the Allen screw and maybe I can just get it centered and then tighten it down, but I'm not sure I can do that. Um, let me get this loosened up and moved. not the most convenient thing to adjust. Okay. Move this over a little bit. Do need to loosen these other yeah I remember now so all of these adjustment screws are also tightened down I have to loosen all of these just to get it uh, to shift around Let's see if I can there we go again I'm just loosening these up so I can get it to move Looks like these two side ones are the ones that keep it tightened. Yep. Yeah. So loosening those up, we definitely, there's lots of movement now, and these should align it. I think they work in tandem. I think I need to loosen and tighten equally. So let's get this back on here. Let's line it up, and then let's tighten those up. Maybe that's the trick. Let's make sure you're back in focus. I think you are. So what we're doing is pushing this, let's get this, back here. I'm going to push push this up here until it centers itself because you can see it'll it it moves now. So, let's let's get this centered. I may have to loosen up some more of those. Yeah. Here we 
we go. So now it does need to come up, but now I'm able to move this back and forth. So now we're just too low. So I need to figure out how to raise that up. It's got to be some of these other Allen, Allen screws. Back you up so you can see. I'm guessing I want it to, to be over right there, but I also want it to come up. So that's maybe maybe we just gotta do that. Get it centered, lock it into place. And let's tighten these down. Big. Here we go. So it's a little snug. Here, let's tighten this one down, and we'll slowly tighten them both down until until they're where we want them to be. There's that one. Let's get this one. And then let's go ahead and tighten these other ones down as well. It's a smaller Allen key. That one's good. These on the back were loose. So let's tighten those down. Can. They use the bigger one. Yeah, they do. There's just strange differences that these Allen screws are. All right, those two are tight. It's centered now. Get this, make sure this one's tight. Actually, I don't want that one tight. I think that's for the locking. And then, is there any more here? I think we're good for the moment. So if we, if we, if we pull this off and then we push it back and it's still centered, I think we've got it. It's just, I'm, I'm afraid this is going to drop, but let's unlock it. It's still centered. If we pull it out. That was it. That was the, the, the key. It is still centered in there. It's, well, it's not locked, but it's pretty close. If we push, put pressure on the tailstock and push it in, it is a little bit to the left. So let's, let's loosen these up a little bit. Give it a little bit of another tweak. That one and this one back here. difficult it's gonna be the bigger one goodness sakes it's definitely that one so it's got to be this one makes for a fantastic video watching me fumble around trying to get the Allen's key in there silly let me pause it while I mess with this and we'll come back
Okay, I got the Allen key in there. We got it back in here. We're gonna push down on this without locking it. And then we're gonna tighten these up. Tighten that one, tighten this side, tighten this side again. And then that should be all of that tightened up. Now, if we pull this back out, that right there, I'm happy with that. The last thing to do is to tighten up the bottom so it can't swivel or move. And I, th I think it's stable now. So pull this out of here. And I'm talking about this one on the bottom. Let's get this tightened up. I have a feeling that's gonna lower it, but let's let's see what happened. That feel like that needs to be tightened. Yeah, that messed it up. So there is still something with this, and it 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 draws it down. So not sure. what the adjustment is there, because this isn't flat. I'm wondering if it's these back here. It's back on. So let's see. Let's loosen this, this up again, down here. Well, I think wow. left to right, that's where we want it. I'm not gonna loosen that, because it needs to be tight. Uh, boy, I don't like that. That's, we'll loosen this up. Very, very finicky, unless I just choose not to tighten this down, but that's not gonna be stable. It's gotta be, it's gotta be stable. Yeah, it's, that raised it back up. I suppose I could shim it, but I don't think that's the right thing to do. If anything, it's probably pointing downward a little bit. So let's, let's look at, at these again and see if we can't bring this side down and hopefully flatten it. So that would be these. And this one. Mm. Loosen this one. This one over here. Sure, there's a trick. I wish the the manual just says nothing about this. Probably Google it, but that's the whole point is to try to figure this out on our own. Let's center that down a little bit. So yeah, it's it's down. It's low. And that lifts the whole thing. Yeah. Right there, I can get this left and right, but how do I get get that to raise up? I may have to put piece of shim in here so I don't really see a way to get this bottom lower I suppose I could take it all off and see how it works but I shouldn't have to do that let me figure this out off camera and I'll bring you back once I figure it out Okay, I brought you back. Uh, I believe I've got this centered. Um, it's pretty darn close. It 
it's not lifting, it's not raising, it's centered to the chuck. Lock it in and it's centered. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know if you can see, see that. Let me bring you down here. As you can see, just slide it in. It goes right, right in the center with very, very little, if any, deflection. Very pleased with that. And I'll show you what I had to do in order to get that centered. And hopefully this helps somebody who gets one of these lays because it's a bit tricky. There's no, there's no instructions. Um, on the tailstock, let me lower you down so you can see what I'm doing. I'll show you the adjustments that we had to do with that. Give me a minute. I'll get better at this, but for now, let's just go with this. So, so we can see what's going on. Got a lot of stuff in there. Let's get some of this out of the way. Okay. On the tailstock, what I did was I loosened the adjustment screw for the left right movement. In addition, these grub screws, there's one on each side down on the bottom. They also will, if you tighten them up, they work in tandem. So one pushes it one way and one pushes it the other. And it, you just want to snug them up a little bit. So what ended up working for me was I, I couldn't quite get it. You know, I got, I could get it left and right, but as the minute that I would bring it back and tighten this up, it would squeeze this, this line here. So what I did was I made an aluminum shim to fit in here, just, just this little, little shim, put it in here, went back to the lathe, got these tightened up to where it was fine left and right, up and down was, I, I suspect it's gonna be okay because of the shim, pulled it out, finally tightened up this grub screw on the bottom. Now, all the screws are tight. I made sure everything else is snug. And now it lines up perfectly. These are, these are some adjustments as well. They didn't do as much. It did seem to maybe kind of push it one way or the other, but for the most part, I just let those be where they were and I snugged them down. So let's get this back on here. Let me turn you around. And I am able to slide this in and it is centered up. I'm happy with that. So hopefully these tips helped. Watch this right there. Very good. I'm happy. So hopefully these tips help out somebody else who gets one of these lathes and is struggling to get the center, the, the tailstock centered with the truck, the chuck, sorry. Again, loosen the bottom screw that, that allows it to go left to right. Use these screws on the side, these grub screws, in order to kind of snug it up once you get, once this thing's loose, slide it in here, get it where you need it to be, gently snug these grub screws up, snug the ones on the back up, and then make sure that you can repeat the center each time. Once that's done, you, Try to tighten in the grub screw on the bottom, but if it pulls it back down, then you're gonna to need to shim this area. I'm sure all of these are gonna be different, but you can get different shim stock and play with it, but that ended up being the trick for me. Hopefully you enjoyed. I hope this helps some people, and I'll keep the videos coming. This is gonna conclude the tailstock centering video.